We'll be looking at question 2a part 2 from the 2014 National 5 physics paper. This question relates to the um, the graph, uh, sorry, doesn't relate to the graph, relates to a circuit um, at the start of question 2. And it shows a graph. The graph shows how the resistance of the thermistor varies with temperature. And um, let's just check what our uh, understanding of um, thermistors are. This is what we all learn at school and we enjoy learning it. It means temperature up, resistance down. So for a, th a thermistor, as the temperature goes up, temperature rises, the resistance drops. And that's what this graph is showing us. So, so far, um, our understanding is aligning with the question. So let's now have a look at the question itself. It says, use the graph to determine the temperature of the water when the voltage across the thermistor is 2 volts. Well, if we look back at the original question, question 1, uh, we were asked to determine the um, resistance of the thermistor when the voltage across it was 2. And we did that and we find that that was 700 ohms. Um, and so when we go and look at the graph, we need to find where 700 ohms is um, along here and use that um, value to find the temperature um, that the thermistor is in. So if we um, just get 700, which is about here, so that's 0, 500, 1000, 500, 600, 700. So we draw a line across from there all the way to this point, and we can see actually a line's at a data point, and then down to there, we can see that the temperature is as we expect um, to be at 80 degrees Celsius, which is what the marking scheme tells us, but that's how we find it. So that's essentially all we have to do. Of course, what I will say, when you're actually giving your answer um, down below, um, I'll just clear the screen here, um, you, must <laughs> you must give your answer not as 80, but as 80 degrees Celsius. If you, if you don't write the unit, um, the, you won't get the mark.